Alrighty, so today we are going to be using the new fastest SA coin dungeon team out there. I assume this also works for the Anvil coin dungeon, uh, or Anvil dungeon, not coin dungeon, uh, but the they're both time limited dungeons, so they do utilize the red Liz here. The idea is that now that Liz and Roxy both actually have their holy relics, you can actually use uh, Liz's new relic in the back because it works in the sub slot and it is PVE, or in PVE, applies an effect on allies which increases attack by 50% at the start of the battle for three turns. So it's a blue buff that gets applied for three turns. Uh, easy peasy just a straight up 50% uh, stat increase uh, paired with her passive that does 40% additional damage um, to enemies who have their HP increased which is all of the enemies in time limited dungeon um, that is going to be a lot of extra damage dealt so with Roxy's new relic on the other hand you have a full human team in battle um, or a full human team up front, so that way you're actually getting the most use out of this. So you get 3% basic stats for each one, so that's 9% basic stats, plus you get 90% crit damage because you have three humans on the field and you're getting 30% per human. So she's going to be doing a lot of damage. On the other hand, you also have uh, Green Arthur on the field who is increasing damage dealt by 35% because he's a PvE god. Uh, you also have his Holy Relic that is decreasing the enemy's defense-related stats by 20%, which is a red buff that gets applied every turn. So that is also big. And with the new Mikasa Relic we have, uh, in PvE battles, if allies on the battlefield are all human, which they are because Liz is in the back, increases those heroes' basic stats by 10% for each, uh, or 10% and damage dealt by single target uh, attack skills by 15% for each participating human ally. So that's a 45% increase to single targets um, and 30% basic stats. So uh, this thing is pretty crazy. We're going to be using Sario Link on uh, Roxy. Just so you know, it is not Sunday, so uh, I'm going to be wasting quite a bit of stamina here, so if you could like the video and maybe subscribe if you're new or you just you know haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it. Rip to all of the lost stamina that I'm about to waste. So uh, either way, let's hop into the SA Coin Dungeon here. I have, uh, I'll have i definitely link the, the tweet that I saw from the JP player down below uh, if you want to check that out. The name, the handle, it's just too too hard for me to <laughs> sort of um, you know pronounce, but uh, I'm also using the Ragnarok, uh, or it's actually a human and unknown um, card set right here, which increases all allies attack by 2.5% because I'm only at level 4, whereas I could be at level 5 and it would give me 3%, uh, but it's applicable allies are humans and unknown, so we're just getting extra attack as well. So let's hop in and uh, we'll uh, <laughs> show you how simple and easy this is, if it, as long as it works the same, because all three of the characters up front are using attack crit damage set. I don't even have like a dedicated set for... Um, that Liz in the back because I keep it on my green Liz for Belmoth raids and stuff like that. Um, but from my understanding, we should be able to one shot the first phase with just this card because we pulled an extra one. We'll just go ahead and waste some AOEs here because uh, we're going to be using the single targets on the uh, the orange demon in the back anyway. Ooh, okay, so we actually didn't kill, but I mean we have extra AOEs anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. We can basically just two shot these. We did pull a chest, so we don't have to worry about resetting there. Um, and then on the end here, because we actually have Roxy's passive, we can basically just chew through a whole lot of their health because all three of the characters that we spawned with, or that we start with, uh, have a single target attack. So we can basically just use those. If they crit, we do extra damage and, you know, pretty easy peasy. This should hopefully be a two shot. Oh no, no crit on the Mikasa there unfortunate but either way it's still super super fast that was four cards used basically to uh clear the entire dungeon so i mean i really can't complain it is gonna be super super fast now and you you want it to be as fast as possible with this one because if you don't know it is not a guaranteed chance to drop a chest on turn one here so because that's the case you want to make sure that if you do not drop a chest on phase one that you reset and you uh you, you try to go for a chest so you can only run this dungeon 12 times and you have a 30 minute timer so um you want to be you want to be very positive because you only get one of these keys every two weeks that you're dropping a chest so uh it is um, I can't remember the exact drop rates or anything like that, but you know it's it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, let's uh, let's I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna watch this uh, this Twitter video one more time just to make sure that I'm not messing anything up here. But uh, we should be pretty much in the clear at least for this run. 
Alrighty, so, uh, I'm actually not 100% sure what I'm doing differently here. I'm not, uh, I, the, the problem is, is the, the person in the video doesn't actually show, like, their team setup or their gear or anything like that on their characters, but their Roxy actually just one-shots the entire first phase, so there might be a little bit of tweaking that you can actually do here. I'm not sure if it's due to a different link, which I would assume Saria would be the best link for this by far, just because you're actually critting and, you know, the crits are, you know, you want them to do as much damage as humanly possible. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. His, um, his Arthur also crit. Maybe he has a different card set on. Actually, I wonder if the attack that I would get from, like, just running like pure attack, you know, artifact card set would give me better odds here. Let me, let me try that really quick as well. Alright, so, I did a little bit of looking around. I don't know 100% still what exactly it is that I'm missing, but I think it might be the fact that I actually only have Roxy 4-6, and it, the reason why that matters is because her unity does scale off of the ultimate level. So there's 4% attack-related stats that I could be getting from the maxed out unity at 6-6, which might be the reason why I'm like missing just a little bit of damage. I'm not 100% sure on that, of course. There might be a couple of different things. I do actually have all of Roxy's weapons and stuff like that maxed out, so I don't think that that's the problem. Not 100% sure if, you know, this specific weapon could be better over one of these other ones. Maybe it can be. Actually, yeah, I think you directly is a... Well, it's only a 3% crit chance increase over this one, and we don't really need crit chance per se. So uh, I don't think that that's going to matter that much. But um, yeah, I think the fact that we're missing two ultimate move levels might be the big thing there. Plus, I think if I could max that card set out and get another 0.5% attack-related stats, um, that could also help out a little bit too. So uh, obviously, I'll just mess around a little bit and... Uh, sort of see what I can come up with, but uh, either way, um, I, in the video, I basically just <laughs> tried a couple of different things, trying to see if I could make up the damage, and I couldn't, so I'm just going to call out, cut all that stuff out and give you this little explanation, but uh, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed the video or anything like that, feel free to subscribe, obviously, you know, feel free to use the team or let me know, you know, if there's anything that you think might be better, um, now that we have the Liz Relic, I'm sure there's a lot of other teams that you could maybe use with that attack related, or that, it's just a base attack boost, but even then, it's a pretty successful, uh, substantial boost in general so if you have any cool teams or anything let me know i'm always looking to make the sa queen dungeon far, uh, fast faster so that way i can uh, you know reset as much as humanly possible if i don't get the chests because sometimes it just man you don't get chests for like five or six runs in a row and it's really annoying so either way thanks for watching subscribe i'll see you later